You probably know the feeling, sweaty, fast breathing, quick heart rate. That's a cortisol spike. It feels awful, and its imbalance is the cause of your anxiety. Rebalance Health's three-part anxiety system helps address it at the root. Rebalance Health lozenges are natural and designed for optimal absorption, providing 24-hour relief. Live life fully without feeling like you're fighting for it. Get 50% off your first month with code CALM23 at rebalancehealth.com. Tampons and Brittany Griner. No shit. Tonight on Strikeout Beer. And we're live. Welcome to the Strikeout Beer episode. Oh, look at that. There we go. Episode number 233 with your pals Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. I didn't know Alan had a heavy flow. <laughs> Hell Stud's in the house. What's up, L Stud? It's heavy all the time. Uh, Lizzie's like, in the house. What's up, Lizzie? All he does is clog um, the toilet. Man. That, you know what? No, I don't no. like I don't like this mic being over here. I feel weird. Like I, I got I, used to the way things were again. I was happy. My life was good, and now here we are. What it's do you just, mean by used to the way things were again? Because we the, were the, we were old school. Oh, okay, we okay. Were, we were with, with having guests on and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. I thought you were talking about like the lapel mics. I was like, we use those for like. <laughs> 35 seconds. <laughs> right. 35 right. minutes. We got some new mics, so and we're going to drop new videos here coming up uh, starting tomorrow, and they're going to have, they're introducing the new mics that we have, and we'll, we'll do a, maybe a quick review for our Patreon subscribers, whoever's out there that wants, that, that are interested with the technology and stuff like that, maybe I'm, we'll do that. I actually already got mine ordered. I'll have them tomorrow. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Melton's in the house. What's going on, Melton? How What's you up, doing, buddy? brother? How you doing? Uh, but we're back again. Episode yeah. number 233. Mm-hmm. Um. We're going to be drinking from Kroots Brewing. Today. I heard. I keep hearing about it. I just don't ever see it. Like, I hear about the beer that we're going to have, but yet here we are, 707, and uh, I guess I'll drink some water. I mean, it's in the cooler. I'm getting ready to pull it out, but I want to give you the option. I keep hearing about it. I want it. to give you the choice. Having a uh, Bellhaven Scottish Ale over here. Ooh. Okay. okay. First of all, I didn't know cats drink beer. Oh, they love beer. How, how do they open it? They lack the opposite, the... The, the thumb. They use their, to, they use their pot, to the, pop it. The front like, they can't hold the, the bottle opener. Can't hold, so the cat's sitting there finagling a bottle opener. He, can't, he's, he just can't open it. He's, right? got, he's he pushing down on one side. He's got the thing propped up he underneath can't his grab neck. It. Right. He's got his, just, his back foot on the on the lever as well. Maybe he's using both. You know, he's, he got the front and top paws. or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Send us a video of how that works, please, Cletus. I, and if someone could just ask Alan to hand Rapid Dave a beer, that'd be great. Well, I, I want to know where you want to start. I don't care. You know, we're going to go big first. I just want a beer. I punched a hole in my in the, in my claw. What are you talking about? Yeah, so he just pierces it. Okay. So we're going to drink we're going to drink out what I feel like would be s'mores in the house, games with brews in the house. Uh, Alan, please hand him a beer. I'm actually going to hand him Thank you, s'more. A mason jar. It looks like urine. Did you jar your so- urine? I do jar it, but it's 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 I'm way not drinking clearer that. than this. It's soft shine pickle flavor. I'm not drinking that. Yes, you are. I'm not drinking that. Yes, you are. That looks effing made up. And y'all, you know what? I'm tired of. I'm Celtic boy right now. I love seltzer. Seltzers are for uh, seltzer for life. Celtic boy for life. Start with the beer. Yeah, he said start with the beer, and you hand me this piss jug. I, we're gonna go big and then bring it on down. This is the fakest looking shit I've ever seen in my life. It looks like something like you or your kid made. It's no, like you no, know what no, I got. No, I'm gonna go hand. I'm gonna go get some jars at home. Can you draw me a tree and an American flag in the background? Nope. There's no. I'm, I don't want to drink it. No, I'm not. I don't think I am. I'm, you know what? I'm not drinking. How about that? It's what? this is soft shine. I don't know what that means. It's their like. Sometimes you get it, hit, but it doesn't produce like a big mark. So it's gluten free. Oh, <laughs> file, file that under who gives a shit. I mean, but it's it's like like moonshine, but beer. What the hell does that mean? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's, those two things are not the same. Okay. Well, it's fifteen percent alcohol by volume. Yeah, and fifteen percent piss, and it's pickle flavor. Right, and it's pickle fucking juice in there. That's why. <laughs> I've never had pickle juice that's fifteen <laughs> percent. It's it's fifteen percent piss. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm not interested. Yeah, well, we're gonna drink I it. Know. I don't care if you're interested or not. Uh, 
the fuck is it's <laughs> because it's not moonshine. It's it's a softer version of moonshine. Okay. It's like soft core porn. <laughs> there's there's no chance I'd drink that. Oh, well, you're a cat. No one no one cares about your. Oh, opinion. you're definitely drinking this, Mister the Cat Man. The cat drinks piss. Henson's drinking this. <laughs> Maybe not the, the cat. I don't know, but it sounds awfully frothy. Uh, uh, games with brews. Uh, I try it. Yeah, yeah, you try anything. He I thought you care. were gonna be here. I eat family thing. You got a family yeah, thing. I know. Oh there God. I'm not drinking that. Yes, you are. Why is it everywhere? Oh, God. It even smells like piss. It smells like pickles. Pickles and piss are damn near the same thing. Nah. <laughs> Mike Graham, nice. It's not nice and warm. It's nice and cold. <laughs> it's it's definitely warm. <laughs> it is not warm. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's quite gross. And we owe, uh, as soon as our guy gets in here, uh, head hunting. We owe him a take a drink. So, yeah. so pour pour yourself some of it. I'm just it. gonna drink out of here. Who drinks? Okay, if it's if it's moonshine or some type of variant, then you drink it out of this. You don't drink it out of a pint glass. Here I am with top shelf. You guys are drinking pickle juice and piss. I'm telling you, man. I've got I got the so, good stuff around the corner. So and apparently, he this Cletus shit. has never watched the show before. <sighs> That's what it sounds like. I feel like I'm about to throw up. Like I, 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 I think little I'm monster. Where is they replace the apple juice? Yes. With me. It's a, it's the movie Little Monsters exactly. Who drinks shine out of a cup? Well, we both are drinking out of it, so you know I just yeah out of this. I don't drink it out of that. I would never pour it into a, a pint glass like some. I don't know. I was gonna say something really mean. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, man. All right, it's a uh, so pickle juice and uh yeah pickle juice. All right. Yeah, no, it smells like uh best made uh sour pickle beer from Martin House Brewing. It tastes like pickle juice. Okay. Well, I didn't drink it. Drink it. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, uh, uh, I don't know. Stop. Oh, man. It is piss in a jar they sold you. It is not piss in a jar. If this, if I That's find, illegal. Uh, okay. Is it illegal to sell to piss, sell in, piss a, in a oh, jar? But you can sell bathtub water? You can sell bathtub oh, water? Oh, yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you piss in the bathtub? Then you sell that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you have to advertise it, right? I, it's okay to sell it like that if you advertise it as that. I can. Just drink it. It's actually better than that pickle beer. Oh God! No, it's not. It's Did a, you even take a drink? It's so it's pickle, but there's something like the alcohol on the back uh, makes it worse. Yeah, it's terrible. So, this guy's a Lions fan, so drinking piss is a step up. Yeah, he's like, hey, yeah. you're a cat. Get out of my face. <laughs> Apparently, bad tub water is going for a hefty price. I don't know why you're not uh, producing your, your your own. You know, when we went to Vegas, we produced about a, a couple gallons worth, sold it while we were out there. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny the sales of bath water, but I've heard they go for $20 a mason jar. That tastes bad. It's bad. It's not good. It's like pickle juice, but then, like, just a ton of alcohol. Like, the alcohol burn is cra- it's crazy. It's real. It's absolutely real. Oh, it's 15%. It shouldn't even be. It tastes something. It tastes even worse than that. Like if this was straight up real, like real moonshine with like pickle juice or like some type of other flavor, it'd be like really good. Uh, this is crazy. So I had the <sighs> we had the apple pie one while we were there, <sighs> and that one was delicious. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big pickle fan to begin with, but I know you love pickle flavored alcoholic beverages. So I got this just because of you. What? What pickle flavored alcoholic beverages do you know that I like? Uh, every pickle beer we've ever tried. No, oh, hell no. You know that's not right. Hello, it's uh, hand pink waving from old school. Yeah, I, I read it as pink, like pinky waving. Oh, I thought like pink, like the the color the, pink. No, the artist. Dave doesn't look good. I it's, I don't I don't look good at all. Alan is more of a sausage guy. <laughs> Just your sausage, Elstad. Just yours. It's not good. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna. Puke. I'm thinking I'm gonna uh, I, I picture pink. The singer, her oh. hand waving. Her hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you all right over there, Chief? <clears throat> yeah, I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. You've drank worse than this. Ugh. <laughs> 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 <sighs> <sighs> I don't know what to do. I, I don't. I need. <laughs> oh, the, I don't know, man. It's just not mixing with those 
those uh the stouts we had. we had like three two imperial stouts and then a winter coalition beer. what is it winter strong ale <laughs> he needs some beer <laughs> oh god Let's chug it oh uh, yeah yeah oh, shit. come on god. No. Let's do it. no no do it. no man what? up Man up! That is man a, up! What is that? That's that's offensive to people. Be a man. That's offensive to people who aren't a man. But are you not a man? No, I guess not. I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Hey, mo- woman up! Y'all, okay. I simply spiked like real men. He simply <laughs> spiked. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know if I. I don't know if I can do it. You can do it. I believe you. Oh my god! This Let's is go. like my worst nightmare. It's not. <laughs> it's like terrible. You know, remember that time we did shrooms and I was just like tripping out. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh god! Uh, all right, I'm so, hold on, man. Hold on. Sweating. I got something's wrong. Something's not right. Something's not right. You got to finish right. it. Let's do something, it. Come something, on. Something, Come on. Come something's on. not right. Here right. we go. Oh, mazel, mazel, good things. Oh god. Uh, uh, I'm not drinking that piss. It's piss. Ah, uh, it's not piss. It's piss. How about politically <laughs> red turn? Human up. Yeah, human up. Oh, Where are you on. going? You're going to go puke it up? No, I'm just going to rinse out my glass. Oh, you said it was so good. Why are you rinsing your glass out? I wish I had something I could fucking... If I, what, what if I can put this in the other container? And would he ever know? What if I chug it? I'm going to chug this water and then dump this in the other. You probably know the feeling. Sweaty, fast breathing, quick heart rate. That's a cortisol spike. It feels awful, and its imbalance is the cause of your anxiety. Rebalance Health's three-part anxiety system helps address it at the root. Rebalance Health lozenges are natural and designed for optimal absorption, providing 24-hour relief. Live life fully without feeling like you're fighting for it. Get 50% off your first month with code CALM23 at rebalancehealth.com. The Hartford Small Business Insurance knows that running a small business is a big-time commitment. So this holiday season, they're celebrating hardworking small business owners with a chance to go to iHeartRadio Jingle Ball in Miami on December 16th. Nominate yourself or another small business owner for a chance to win a trip for two. Includes airfare, two-night hotel, tickets to the show, plus $1,000 in spending cash. For official rules and entry information, visit iHeartRadio.com slash smallbusiness. Cheers to you. All right. This, I swear to God. Oh, God. Look at you. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold on. He's all grown up. That's a lot of. <laughs> if he starts peeking, I'm laugh my ass off. <laughs> Hashtag me too. I'm going to grab my phone. And, and or actually, I'm going to grab the laptop. Have y'all watched Full Swing on Netflix yet? No, I have not. What's that? It's the golf mm. documentary, like the F1 racing one. Um, but F1 racing golf. for golf? That's a thing. No, they have a documentary on Netflix based off of F1 racing and all that. So based on F1 racing? Yeah, yeah. What? Are you, all right, so it's a it's documentary a about F. So. There's a golf one, but the first one they did that a lot of people know about, it was the one for F1 racing. Oh, okay. And then full swing, it, it's all took place last year, and it's, you know, a documentary. Oh, okay. Well, Mr. Moore, I'm great. I've followed golf. I've not followed golf in a long time, but Joel uh, Dahman is my new favorite golfer. Never heard of he her. He put a golf club on an F1 car. That's right. All right, so let's. What's up, Mr. Moore? How you doing? Uh, snowman in the house. What's up? You put a golf club on F1 car. That's how I understood it. Why was he selling it to me as a race with a <laughs> <laughs> driver lap hit a ball? Uh, yeah. So we're going to drink. It's like high speed pol- polo. <laughs> we're going to drink Lake trash <coughs> from Crutes. This is a blonde ale. Are you okay? Oh, I think we, I think we've lost rapid day folks. Hold on, hold on. He's wait. He's coming yeah, back. back he's I'm coming back. back he's coming back. <laughs> he's back, baby. <coughs> Let's have a Blondale. Oh yeah, now? yeah, yeah. Sure. <clears throat> First you give him piss. Now you give him trash. <laughs> oh. oh God. I thought as like when I saw Mister S'mores, um, it, it, his name pop up. I go, why is that homeschool? That's homeschool mom. And uh, yeah, no, yeah, it's. 
With, is that with googly eyes or something? I can't see. I can't tell what's going on. See, so having a heart attack close. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. Here's oh. a blonde ale. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Why is it warm? It's not warm. This is warmer than the piss jug. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Alan, how the hell is it that warm? Okay, so it's starting to cool off. I was like, dude, when I grabbed it, it was hot. Man, my hands are sweating like crazy, too. Snowman, I drink some Red's Apple Ale to celebrate my victory over stage four patriotic cancer. Cheers to that. Cheers, bud. Fuck cancer. Oh, God. Oh. How's that, though? Oh, it's a little bit better. Just a documentary of following golfers around and touching, uh, and touching on the whole live controversy. I walked away uh, with that tiger is actually a pretty personable mentor for a lot of these guys off the course. I always thought he was a dick all the time. No, he's actually, I mean, <laughs> if you saw him this past weekend, we're going to talk tiger here in a little, what, little bit. If you saw him this weekend, he was actually after like his tee shot, he went and hung out in the crowd, like causing Tiger's, a disturbance. He was signing people, like giving shit away. He, and, he had a little girl who had like a bucket list. Yep. Number two on that bucket list was meet Tiger Woods. He checked it off yeah. and, you know, and all that. Uh, totally related. Lamar Jackson and Justin Fields need to be traded. Lamar Jackson will be traded. The, the... He's not going to be traded because he's a free agent. Oh, there you go. No, he's going to get signed somewhere else, and he's going to get paid like 55, 60 mil a year. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. Uh, the, the Ravens have not. Look at this. Mr. Mar- yeah, I had a homeschool mom for her birthday. I think I've only got six days left until I can change my name back to uh, S'mores Sugar Daddy. <laughs> oh, oh boy. This is my favorite episode ever. This is terrible. This, this is so terrible. Good. And then, you know, I, I want to love Kruitz's stuff, but I just, oh, God. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's the pre-beers that we had and then the piss jug. It's called Franchise Tag. Uh, I, I, think, I, don't, I know, don't think they franchise tag him. Nah. Uh, I, I think they're like done with him. You know what I mean? They like just rode the wheels off of him and shit like that. And he wants. He's like, I want. Real he's going to go he'll somewhere sit, else and win some games. He'll sit out. I, he, he'll just sit the hell out. Cleese had a whole post complaining about. Oh, we just need some receivers, and he kind of just does. He, if, talked if, about. He talked about Roddy White was his example. Who the hell's Roddy White? Yeah. <laughs> Case in point, right there. But he talked about Roddy Roddy White like his rookie year and his second year. Well, a lot of receivers their first couple of years WNBA, aren't that great. It's a league where you can only do layups and jump shots. I mean, there's some dudes that can do dunks there. <laughs> why did you say it like that? What? Did I say, <laughs> oh, why did did I say, say that wrong? Why did you say it like that? <laughs> what did I say? Hey, we got Caitlin Clark on the screen right here. 27 yeah. points per game. Uh, I don't know what APG. What's APG mean? <laughs> assist. Assist per oh, game. Oh, assist per game. No one really puts that stat up in the uh, the NBA. <laughs> He only had seven twelve hundred yard receiving seasons. Yeah, but some receivers receivers it takes them a year or two to catch on. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, for me, uh, uh, especially back then, right? It's not like it is now, where like you can have a rookie receiver come in now and take over the league. Why did I make that fucking weird noise? Oh. I, I, so my whole thing is this: is you know, if we're gonna hop into, uh, uh, are we talking WNBA? Or are we talking the NFL? I just want to know where to start and what we're doing. <laughs> Mr. Smore just said there are some days that can dunk in the WNBA. I saw a dunk once. And Brittany Griner can dunk. I saw this one lady dunk at, in the All Star game. She was like seven foot tall. She barely dunked. She was not defended against, and the entire stadium went fucking nuts. And I thought it was cool. I was like, man, look at that. They're hyping. They're hyping this. Yeah, like, yeah. Get after. It. I was like, yeah, man. All twelve of them in the stands I'm, went crazy. I'm telling you, man. I was like, shit. I wish I could dunk. You know, yeah. I've been able to dunk no, since I, I was do. like sixteen. Yeah. So. And now I'm like old as shit, fat as hell. Gravity's taking its toll on me. It has. It has. Mike Vick was a terrible passer. I mean, what the hell does Cleese have against African American quarterbacks? He's got a lot against. Jesus, that. this is the most racist hey, cat hey, I've ever hey, met in my life. Hey, Mike Vick under Andy Reid was a damn good quarterback. He was so damn fast. So was Fields, and so was Jackson. They run first because they can't throw accurately. Sounds like he's lumping a and, bunch and, of uh... and fuck gravity. Okay, so here, here's the thing. I agree with the second part. <laughs> yeah. Fuck gravity. Thanks a lot, sir. Isaac uh, Newton. To, <laughs> don't put Fields and Jackson in the same conversation, okay? No. Cuz they're nowhere close. Not yet. I mean, Fields is definitely on his way to being a superstar. I think so. Do you think so? Yeah, I think so. I think he's he showed you this season. I mean, so, look at so, his fantasy so, points. Okay, you know? so let me ask you this. Look, look at no, his fantasy, he had points. fantasy points for like 4 weeks. Yeah, and then he got hurt. What are you going to do? Just like Lamar. Four out of 17 weeks, he was good. Nah, he got hurt, though. <sighs> Go ahead. Hurry up before I vomit. So, I'm, I'm, like, it's churning. I can't wait. Like, it, there's, there's so like a so you don't holes. have Joe Burrow, okay? 
I have Joe Burrow? You don't in this situation. Do I own a team? You're a Bengals fan. You don't have Joe Burrow. Okay. But they're like, hey, we're going to trade for Justin Fields. Are you excited about that? Trade? What are we giving up? I got to know what we're giving up. You're going to sign him as a free agent. Oh, sure. Why not? Free agent? Yeah. Why would you be? Why not? He's still young. Got a lot of life on the, a lot of tread left on those tires. And he's willing to learn some shit, do some crazy shit. He'll run. Hey, he'll take contact. I'll, I'll take Jacoby Brissett over Justin Fields. Shut up. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Just because he's a Bears. If, as soon as he's not on the Bears, you'd be on his, you'd be on that train. There's no way in hell, and I'm telling you right now, for a f- absolute fact, you're not taking Jacoby Brissett over Fields. There's no way. There's no way. Zero. Yes. Zilch. No, hey, no hey, here's, some, here's some facts for you. The cat's coming in hard. Fields is 5-20 and 20 overall. I don't care. Let's That's see how, awful. Let's he has a 35th best completion percentage. 35. He's always running for his life. 35th. Just wait till this year. But would Justin Fields do a missing or bird to Only you. Ratio is 37th. Only you can prevent Fields Mississippi bird bath. sucks. He doesn't suck. He's a good. He's good. He's good. No, he's not. Give him some time. Give him some time. Give him some time. Give him some time. He's an Ohio State quarterback. That's exactly the only reason why he doesn't like it. That and name, any place for Name Bears. one good Ohio State quarterback. Don't know, man. But I'm telling in you. The history, I'm telling you. In the history of the NFL, uh-huh. name one good Ohio State quarterback. I can't name like two. I don't know. Exactly. Well, no, it's because I don't know where I don't. His offensive line grade out is the tenth best in the NFL, Oof. and he's the thirty fifth best quarterback. Ugh. How's he thirty fifth? That means there's backups that are better than him. He finished thirteenth in fantasy overall. Uh, fantasy. That's yards, fantasy. touchdowns. That's that's fantasy. fantasy football is an accumulation of no. points based on stats that you get in a game. The better you do, the more points you score. You new to the game? You understand the game? He's worse than backups. That's right, Cletus. Hey, but you know, he finished higher than Brock Purdy, but I'll take Brock Purdy over Justin Fields. Did he really? Did did he finish over Brock Purdy? Yeah. I gotta look it up now. Mr. Schmore, I can't name an Ohio State player players because all I can hear is Ohio State fans yelling O H I O like yes. We get it. There is one word you can all spell good. <laughs> we get it, you dummies. Hey, my, my favorite thing is uh, J- Jim Harbaugh. It's coming from a damn Michigan guy. Jim Harbaugh in his uh, office there at the University of Michigan, he's got a book that says everything great about Ohio State. Mm-hmm. And then when you pick up the book and you look in it, mm-hmm. all the pages are blank. Mm-hmm. Every page. You guys uh, playing in leagues... Were they downgrade passing touchdowns? No. Purdy finished uh, 20th overall? 20th overall. That's not bad. Okay. Not, not over quarter, not, not in quarterbacks. But yeah, Justin Field finished uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So ahead of and, Prescott, Rodgers, That was based Rogers, off of like Goff. four weeks. Yeah. No, he, 10 weeks. Not four weeks. He had four good weeks. Oh, you mean Justin Fields? Yeah. It was always, he was always over 20-something points. Yeah, all I do is play for fantasy championships every year. Yeah. Well, Please. let's go, Cat. Well, join our league then. All my friends growing up were Ohio State fans. Are you struggling to conceive? You have options. And at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com renew to learn more. He ruined college football for me. Oof. Yeah, I, I hear you, Mr. Smore. Ugh. I hear you. Ohio State sucks. I think I, I feel like I'm catching a fever. But I think. Well, what do you think about na- this lake trash? I think I'm past the nausea. I mean, it looks. It's weird. a Blondale. Yeah, it looks weird. There's no clarity, which I don't think Blondale's but a clear But your blondes, this is the color of a blonde. They right? look like this. Uh, the head already dissipated. Uh, it's, it's it's probably a box checker, right? Like, it, it looked 
good right away. It's really good. I think we can get it, some head on this thing. Get some. Come on, man. Do something. There, see it moving? Okay. Yeah, no, when we first poured it, uh, it looked good, smelled good, had good head on it. Like I said, box checker, right? Nothing fen- phenomenal about this beer. Blondes aren't phenomenal. Well, I mean, they're phenomenal in certain things. But in here, this case, they're not that great. <sighs> it has the distinct, that, that blonde ale aftertaste. It, it does, it does. Um, so check, check, and check. So it's a it's a, it's a blonde. It's a blonde yeah. ale. You're not going to believe this. Also, I think C.J. Stroud ale. is a better option than Fields. Oh. Well, I mean, some people are, like, losing their shit over that. Like, hey. Nah, I- but yeah, no, I, give me Fields. Trout ain't going to be anything great either. <clears throat> I, I think Fields is going to be, just give him some time. Just same thing with Lamar, right? We say the same shit about Lamar a couple years ago when he couldn't throw like a 10-yard flat, right? He could not throw the ball. And then whatever happened, he practiced and practiced, got a good coach in there to help him with it. Whatever. Now he can throw the ball. Now he's throwing like just 50, 60-yard bombs when he has receivers. And so this is the same shit we talked about years ago. And, and it was like, give him, a, give him some time to develop, man. He's out there running for his life every single play. And I think he does feel like he has too much on his plate as far as why the hell is this low? Uh, I don't know on 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 his plate. Like he's got to be the playmaker, right? Because there's well, no one is. else there. He has to be because there's no one else around. Dave Montgomery's a damn good running back, and Herbert's an excellent running back as well. Good, but his receivers. I mean, Mooney was there. He did okay, right? Allen Robinson was there for a little bit. Uh, he he did just and, okay. And, and you have a whole montage of freaking um, Justin throws. Fields. Missing him when he's wide open. You, you sound like OBJ. You, you, you sound like Odell Beckham. D- no. Dad throwing a, a highlight reel together every time Baker Mayfield missed the throw. It happens, man. And then when he's out there trying to make plays and trying to, it, once he settles and chills Alan out. Allen Robinson was good until Justin Fields showed up. As soon as he chills out and just, he's got to learn to chill, right? He's already thinking, run. I got to run. I got to run. And so that's where he accumulates a lot of these points. But he, he does get him down the field. I think the Bears are going to be pretty good this year, but I think him, as long as he kind of chills hold on, out. Hold on. You think the Bears are going to be pretty good this year? They'll probably break 500. They'll break 500. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, good. Yeah, why not? I mean, you think the Lions are going to be good? The Lions are winning the whole thing next yeah, year. Yeah, see, that's, you know, I got to get that out of the way so that you know I'm dealing with someone that's nuts. Hey, right now, if you, if you look at all the odds makers, they're number 10 to win the Super Bowl. Plus 2,500. And that's number 10 is that number in 10? the league. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, plus 2,500 is not great odds. Or was it 25,000 or 2,500? I sent you a text message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, My O and O will always eclipse their O, however how many times. I don't even know what that means. Uh, Bears win four to five games maximum. They Didn't they win five games this year? Maybe. Yeah. I think, no, I think I think, I think they break 500 next year. I really do. We'll have to look at their schedule whenever it's released, and then we'll be able to judge it off of that because you know, you're just blindly well, saying, let, yeah, they're going to be 500. Let's just see who's – I, I want to who's playing quarterback for the Packers. I mean, it's not Aaron Rodgers. It's not going to be Aaron Rodgers. It's, a, it's somebody else. Who's the backup? Is it Jordan Love? Love. Yeah, it's Love. Or do they pick someone else up? It's Love. It's, it's Love's team. I, yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, if it's Jordan Love, eh, the Packers are going to suck. Let's just be honest. Yeah, they're gonna, uh, they'll probably be in the cellar this year if you think about it. But, hell, I, if for some reason they bring freaking Aaron Rodgers back, mm-hmm. they're not, they're, they won't be a playoff team. I don't think so either. I, they had a chance to win it this year, right? All they had to do was win and get in. They had to beat the the, the Lions hey, on but that's was it Sunday night or Monday night. It was a Sunday night game. They Sunday flexed game. it to Sunday night. Yeah. But that's the problem. You you play the Lions team that is really freaking good at the end of the year. So y'all peaked towards the end. We finished eight and ten. Or eight and two, I'm sorry. Eight and two. Was it eight and ten? Eight and two. No, no, no. What was the actual record? What's y'all's record? Uh you we did, uh did you break five hundred? I think so. Yeah, yeah, you don't even know. All right, I'm concerned about Rapid Day's health right too. now. What's wrong with that? I had that pickle beer. I feel great, or pickle moonshine. Look at look at me. I, I'm glowing over here. Just living the dream. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I gotta get some whiskey. I gotta offset this shit. I can't believe you fed me piss. Pickle piss. And the only reason why I got it was because of you. Why? Because you like pickle flavored whatever. Yeah, you're fucking full of it. You're no, so I'm not. full of it. You're so full of it. You're too hopped up on tampons and Brittany Griner. You can't even get your head right. So here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. You're talking crazy, not well. Are we going to go back to, I was going to hit you up and say, hey, do you want to do a show at pastime again and just go out there and have some beers? Not like, not like what we did, like the, the pastimes, or pastimes at pastime, but we'll, we'll bring our tables, you know, our two little uh, white tables or whatever. We'll bring the lights, our $10 lights that Let's Go Buddy was talking about. Uh, he was talking yeah, about that yesterday. Well, hey, what kind of lights you guys got? I don't know, some $10 lights from Walmart? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I said, I was like, let's go back out to pastime. Hear me out now. Hear me out. Go to pastime. I'm in. We'll bring the gear. Uh, we'll sit there, and then everybody that's in there, 
well, hey, if they because they always they usually leave it open for some people to come in and, and hang out. We'll we'll interview everyone that's there. You know, Chris. Uh, you so know, McClain, so what? Whoever. Are, are we doing this on a Wednesday night? Yeah, Wednesday night. Okay, I'll talk to Chris. And so we'll uh, we're just gonna go out there and chill, and we're gonna it's gonna talk be about after the store closes, up upcoming events, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you know, we're gonna talk to the guys, bring them in. What? You know, we'll have four chairs. Let's just do a show out there we're, at pastime. We're gonna that's do a show. We'll do, we'll do a Wednesday night show at pastime. I'll yeah. talk to Chris tomorrow, and we'll bring some beer. And we'll we'll hang out. Hell, we'll we'll hold all hold cheer. On, well, no, you don't do it now. I want to text them right now. We'll all do it, and then we'll we'll head over to to Applebee's or whatever afterwards. Remember the last time we went to Applebee's? Me, you, and Lizzie. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I guess I want to catch it. We were there eating and drinking for like an hour and a half or whatever, and I was like, ah, just bring us the tab. It's fine. I was like, it's fourteen dollars. She goes, yeah. I go, well, uh, d- just get me like double everything I just ordered. <laughs> Let's get some more. And that's when Lizzie found out uh, uh, the grandbaby number three was on the way or four was on the way. Yeah. 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 Frankie, the Frankster. Yeah, Yeah. that's right. That's right. So you're so wrapped up in vinegar, (laughs) vinegar pickle boy. (laughs) You're so wrapped up in layers, onion boy. (laughs) Is there? All right. So I'm going to ask you this question. I don't know. Ask it. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this, uh, you know, if, if anybody else has this issue, but. Is there another movie, what movie, that no matter what, it's your absolute stop-down movie? Like, you're like, I'm putting it on. Or you might fire it up. So, so just any movie that, like... Mine is Shrek. Okay. Shrek is an all-time... Shrek's great. Shrek's yeah, an yeah, all-time yeah, yeah. chill. It's on. I'm watching it. Just, uh, maybe I'll fire it up when I'm hungover. I don't feel good or something like that. Or if I'm just hanging out at the house. Whatever. Lizzie <laughs> can't say, Jesus Christ, you know, whatever. I, mean, I put on Star Wars yesterday. Uh, I mean, any, any Star Wars movie. Not like, even I'll a wiggle. Stop, not right? even a wiggle down I'll, there. I'll, if I'm if I'm flipping through, if I'm actually flipping through channels, yeah. And I see Star Wars, I'll stop. TNT had it on yesterday, right before right? they kill all uh, those uh, millions of uh, contractors. I, 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 I will sit down uh, for five hours and watch Shawshank on AMC, on, T- on TNT, <laughs> on or TNT. whatever, <laughs> and, Tropic- and, and all all the commercials. <laughs> Uh, Tropic Thunder. If I see Tropic Thunder, I'll pull it up somewhere else. Yeah, you got to find it somewhere else. You can't watch it on regular because, TV because you, it's edited. Super, out the ass super on, edited on there. Orange, Orange, Ca- Ca- Orange County is a good movie. That's a movie. Yeah, uh, Colin Hanks. That was Colin Hanks. Tom Hanks' kid. Uh, what's Orange County? A movie. I thought it was Orange County Choppers. I thought it was what he was talking. Oh, about. that's a TV show. Uh, okay. But yeah, no, Colin Hanks and Jack Black. I don't remember Jack Black in it. I remember Colin Hanks. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you remember the movie then. Jack Black's pretty, uh, you know, you would know if he but was no, in But no, no. I mean, he I, was in Drop of Thunder. I do, you know, I do he's like, he's an heroin I do like, I do like, he's the stupid brother. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I'll have to check it out again. But no, the, yeah, I thought it was good. I thought, I thought, I actually thought like Orange County was a movie that was going to launch Colin Hanks. Like, this is the movie that launches him into his career. Yeah. And he's done. He did a season of Fargo. It was good in Fargo. Yeah, and chase I think around he, that tail. I think he's done a couple other things, but but yeah. So Shrek's one of those movies. When I saw that, I knew exactly what that quote was <laughs> because you know that's one of my. It's it's one of those weird movies that I liked, but now I don't like Shrek the two. I can handle. I don't watch the third or the fourth or you know the tenth or Shrek whatever. Forever after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah. One and two are that's where I draw my limits. But that's that's. I could sit there and like if something's going on or whatever, and I'm like, I just want to watch Shrek. I don't know why, because okay. if you catch it like on like, if you watch on Netflix or somewhere else, it's an hour and twenty minutes. You're you're in and out like that. You're like, okay, well, you know, fine. Remember but, if you watch the Fifth Element every night for New Year's on it for years on end. Yeah, no, you can still. I, I watched the Fifth the, Element's a good one. I watched uh, that the other day on AMC. Said Nacho Libre. No, nah, I'm not watching Nacho Libre. But I watched Nacho. The Fifth- I watched the Fifth Element the other day um, for the first time in a long time, yeah, but it was on, on like sci-fi pants. or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It typically will be. So I was like, like oh that. god, you know. I was like, all right, well, it's going to take a while, but I got sucked in. I was like, all right, well, I'm watching now, so it is what it is. Cleese said, "Fight Club." Fight Club. I'll always stop down to watch Fight Club if it, I'm. If it's got to be on channel. IFC. I don't care what it's on. Yeah, no, I I need the wild ass, like the craziness, you know, when Brad Pitt's I like sawing that broad in half, she's like falling off the bed. He goes, hey, he's got that rubber, that, the fucking, the, 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 what is it, the dishwashing glove on? He goes, you want to take a run on her? <laughs> His name was Bob. Yeah, Robert Paulson. Yeah. You give the impression to hurt me like this? Oh, God. Um, What's that from? But they're, uh, I don't know what that's from. I don't know. 
maybe Fight Club. I don't know. No, it's not from Fight Club. Um, but there are some movies like if I catch them like somewhere, I'll be like, I want to watch this, but I'll pull it up and watch like uh, streaming or DVD or oh Blu-ray my or whatever. God, is that Kung Fu Hustle or whatever that's called? Oh, that's from not. I've seen Kung Fu Hustle. I enjoyed that one. We watched that for Billy Joe. Billy Joe told us to watch Kung Fu Hustle. And we watched oh, it and then Nacho we Libre. liked it. Nacho Libre. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um That looked like the dude that was like Ben Stiller that was playing a karate movie, had those hamster nunchucks. You remember that thing? That's what I thought it was. Remember that fucking movie? I don't know what it was, but uh, I remember. I, I gotta pull it up now. Tombstone. Tombstone's a great movie. I like Tombstone, dude, yeah. Ham- if you have twelve hours to sit down to watch a movie, that's a great one to watch. On regular television. You're gonna catch that, it on that, CMT. That, that or uh, Wyatt Earp. I don't I never watch that. You don't watch Wyatt Earp? Uh, Kevin Costner? Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah. Kung yeah. Pao. Kung Enter Pao. the Fist. There That's the name yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do, we're gonna have to do it. Uh, El Stud knew exactly. Yeah. Why did I point up there? I don't know. I don't know. But I was like, yeah. That's where El Stud is. <laughs> That's where El Stud is. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually turned it on with no intention of watching it and ended up watching it. It depends on what part you catch it at, right? You know, but like I, Tombstone, I, yes. Uh, Wyatt Earp, yes. I quoted that movie the other day, and everybody went bonkers or whatever. I was like, you know, I was talking about the point. Uh, you were like, I'll be your huckleberry. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> it, it was the one where, uh, you know, Wyatt Earp gets caught outside, and, and whatever that big old P, you know, that cowboy was like on him, and they were like, oh, let's rush him or whatever. And, he, and he's like, hey, look, you die first. Get it? Your friends might get me in a rush, but you die you first. Die- and he was like, like, you know, he's bluffing. I go, why would you bluff at that? I'm like, you're about to kill me. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a. Uh, he says, I'm gonna turn your head into a canoe. <laughs> it's like, then and, and then what's his name comes out? Doc Holiday comes out or whatever. He goes, ah, oh, you're a drunk piano player. You don't know it. He doesn't know he's Doc Hollywood. And he's like, you probably see double. He goes, I got two guns, <laughs> one for the both of you. Please, not before I turn your head into a canoe. Exactly. And so I was like, you know, it's like, and it was like crazy. And so and they all went ape shit, and they were all talking. We were all talking. Here's about what I want to try and do, and, and we can make this happen. Turn someone's head into a canoe. Yeah. Well, besides that, like that's we're oh, not God. we're, we're not going to record that or do a live or, or promote <laughs> that. Okay, that's just going to be something we're going to do. Okay, you just have to assume we did it. But um, there'll be signs, and people will be able to show up to it. Oh God! But I want to do a strikeout beer movie night where we go see. Like a classic movie. Well, we had a big old chance to do it during the pandemic. Remember when they were like showing like Back to the Future and they were doing all that other stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like we can make it happen. Like I I know someone who knows someone that where we can like show up to a movie theater and do like a movie night for like we can go do a movie night for like a hundred bucks. Do you think you'd get the people out there? I think we could you know what? If it's me, you, Lizzie, Liz, maybe Cletus shows up. Chris, we get two to three other people to show up. It's worth it, right? You think so? For a hundred bucks to go see a, uh, an old movie, Cleo I mean, says he has a connection. I, I mean, I would watch an old movie. Like I want to see Back to the Future. I think in the theater. Yeah. Um, there's a, a Batman 1989. Yeah, if I could see that again in the Games theater. with Brews is in. I know he's in. Right, okay. we can no, y'all, get would, TJ. Y'all, would, y'all wouldn't have to pay anything. Yeah, this would be something yeah, yeah. we pay we'll, for. We'll, we'll pay for it. You know, it's going to cost us like a hundred, hundred twenty bucks. We cut that in half yeah uh, done right um but yeah cletus let's do it i want yeah. one where you can sit there and drink though i want like oh yeah know. no no it's yeah. definitely it's probably will be out at like the look theater that we went to oh kim bakes we went to go basinger or bassinger or basinger i don't know how to say it uh are we doing young <laughs> guns or are we doing uh but i had that in batman like i had that bat i had her on a poster on my wall in like 1989 in virginia oh no i'm thinking sharon stone when i said young guns uh, sharon stone i think Kim she's, over- I think yeah, she's yeah. overrated she's uh overrated. but no it would be at, like at the look theater that we went to out in colleyville yeah i think i can make that happen yeah um, i think i'm just gonna sit like this the rest of the night he said batman yeah yeah, yeah batman <clears throat> and events has all those classics showing casablanca is coming soon yeah follow uh, that we, gives I, a shit. I don't yeah you think he's, we're gonna he, go to a theater? You, you think he's you think he's artsy enough for that? It's meat cheese bun. He's not watching Casa, Casablanca. I'll watch the shit out of Casablanca. Yeah, right. Oh, you know what? There's a uh, Chris says he's in for a uh, Wednesday night show at a pastime. Congratulations. Well, you said you wanted to do it. Let's do it. Okay. It, it's it's confirmed. 
Um, I'll, I'll like, there's a website out there. Or Can something. we let people in? Yeah. So if like we have people that say, "Hey, I'm here yeah, for the show," yeah, yeah, because okay. yeah, yeah. like you know, I'd like to have a couple people. You know, not to say that we used to do. We used to Mike do the, Graham's in. We used to host the Tuesday night. night show out there. Like they have a Tuesday night show that they did for was it Comic Strip tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, we've done that, and we've, we've done, done that, that before. Yeah. And we had a blast. Yeah, and we're just Chris. Hey, Chris Hayes in the house. Confirmed. Get, yeah. those, get those pants off, kids. Yeah, no. And Chris has asked us to come back out again on Tuesday night. I said, tell us what Tuesday. That's what And I, we'll be there. Yeah, I'll go on Tuesday. We're down for a Tuesday night show. I just sat but, there and drank the whole but, time. But we also want, we'll, we'll come out there and do a Wednesday night show yeah. where we we have Sanchez come out there, Cole, Chris. Yeah, I want the crew. Henson. Yeah. Let, let's, let's, get, I, I, I got to get, I got to get Brian out there too. Get Julian, you know. <sighs> That's some good times. But we'll have our we'll have our tables, our lights. We're not gonna sit you know what I mean? We're not gonna be we're gonna we're gonna do our thing, right? We're gonna we're gonna do yeah. our thing and we're gonna have we're gonna feel comfortable set up. We're gonna perfect it's interview time. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna bring it back to the old uh what was that one con? It was uh, that one at the uh, the rec center that one time. It it was our, it was it was pastime. Pastime Christmas something, right? Con. Christmas con? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was the first that was my first like taste of any type of like um a con. Well, right? well I think I've been to them before, but the first time of me sitting at a table. Yeah, yeah. We sat at the table, yeah. we interviewed every we could Dude, barely we sat talk. down with McLean for like two hours. We could barely talk when we left. We talked to McLean for two hours. God. David Sanchez, uh Ella Spice, uh Chris, um, Several other people. I don't even remember everyone. It's still out there, yeah. so I, I didn't delete it or anything no, like that. No, no, they're, they're it, so out yeah. there. You got to go back. Pastime Saturday. Wait, wait, hold on. That's a Pastime Sat show. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. Talk, so we'll okay. talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was a lot of fun. It really was. That we was, had a blast. I was super nervous the entire time, but we had it set up right. Because um, we weren't drinking at that show. We couldn't drink. Yeah. At the rec center, we couldn't drink. Yeah. We had some claws out in the car that we go... Take a couple, dude. Times. I remember driving up there. Like as soon as I was like hitting the highway, Liz was like, Shh. "I was like, <laughs> like, let's go." But yeah, well, cool, cool, that's cool. That's cool. different from the Cowtown events we've gone out and covered, where we're drinking at the Cowtown events because those they are fun. Beer there, yeah, it's totally uh, fun. But Cowtown uh, Comic Con coming up this year, September 30th. I'm not mistaken, September yeah. 30th and when October is that, 1st. Chris? So that'll be there. I don't know if it's Friday through Sunday or if it's Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so Saturday, September 30th Saturday, and Sunday. October 1st. Yeah, um, it's out Saturday, Will Sunday Ro- event. Will Rogers Memorial Center. So we'll be out there. And is it is it Memorial Center or Coliseum? Have they changed it? Will Rogers? It used to be uh, Coliseum back in my September day. September 30th, October 1st. I there told you. Go. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Cool vendors out there, cool artists. Uh, we went this past year. And let me say, they... It's gotten bigger. Like I miss the days of going to the the Hearst, the Watauga Rec Center, the Hearst, oh, the, the oh, Hearst one. Cowtown at Kurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm actually going to be so Pastime is doing an event, uh, March 11th. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, on this, but uh, Memorial Center. Dave is on. It. Okay, uh, it was Coliseum back in the days when I played uh, ice hockey at Richland my junior and senior year. Oh, that's cool. And man. that's where we had practices and games. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we had a whole. We had a whole practice with everyone from the Fort Worth Fire back oh, then. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. But uh, March 11th, they're doing a Woman of Art uh, Day out at Pastime. Yeah, I think it's March 11th. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. It's, it's weird you're bringing up. Don't you bash women of everything? No, I like, don't. I like you don't like the w, you don't like the WNBA. I love the WNBA. You don't you don't you don't like uh, anything to do with women. I've but watched all of a more now, WNBA than you have. But now you're promoting women of something, and like it's like, what are you doing? Like. I don't know what you're doing I over there. Su- you're up support. to something. You're up to something over there, and I don't know what it is. You're up to the, something. They're, they're going to have. You're up to something. Uh, you you hate women doing anything other no, than get out of the, when I they get out of the kitchen. Them. You get nervous. Nope. You, it's like you come fully out of that support. kitchen. You better be going to the laundry room. <laughs> I fully support them all. Uh, Ariel Diaz will be out there. Is another is an amazing artist. Uh, Lisa Pixel Pixel song artist or. You Something don't even along know. those lines. Just, End of just... March, we are doing an outdoor extravaganza in the parking lot. Space is available Sunday, date to come. Well, Chris, tell me when. I'll I'll get a table and you'll buy a table. What? Okay, That's maybe you won't. You said it's a lady thing. No, I was talking about that, but he threw this out there. So it's a lady thing. Yeah, is she, she making a sandwich or what? No, exactly. they're just doing art. Dude, this guy, all he does is bash women no, all the time, $10 all day. Spaces, I'm in. Chris. Yeah, get us three. Yeah, four. Need four. That's fine. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> but they're doing a woman of art series. Uh, Marty will be out there. McLean's wife, Ariel Diaz. She draw? Yeah. Oh yeah. Marty. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. She does. She's a lot of paint. She does a lot of stuff for. She actually has several things she does for Hallmark. Hallmark cards. Yeah. No shit. She she has Man, four they do to five but things that she does for March Hallmark 11th, every year. Women of art. Yeah. I don't know why March he's talking 11th. about. It. He keeps talking about it. What? What? what get, just get to the punchline. You keep talking about it. Get to the punchline. It's, it's coming. There's a lot of women of it, art out there. There's It's something. Come on. Liz will be out there. There you are. Oh, there we go. All right. There you are. I was like wondering because all you do is bash. I don't bash. All you do is bash. And I was like, there's, gotta, there's, there's, a, there's a hook coming eventually. And there's there's no now bashing. that we found now that we found it. I don't okay. Bash. All right. There we go. <laughs> like, it's like, he's just like, he's trying. It just, it took him. Four and a half minutes to, from the start to actually get into the point. There we go. The slaps in the house. Slap. I just got a job making plastic Draculas. There are only two of us on the production line, so I have to make every second count. You do have to make every second count. You're the second on the production line. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> What's seconds up, Slap? Seconds as doing? in like seconds in a minute, but like counts... Bye. Looking for a fun way to win 25 times your money this football and basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash play100 and use code play100. That's code play100 at prizepicks.com slash play100 for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com slash get100 for a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. By Dracula. Jesus. If you don't know. Oh, I just got to explain it. For you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. I just want to make sure everyone understands you're, last you're, joke. You're hanging tight over there. You're hanging tight. All right, cool. So, yeah, look forward to that uh, March 11th, and then we have an end of March uh, show coming up for outdoor. Uh, it's going to be there at pastime. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have – there's going to be four tables amongst us. So, be out there. Be uh, be there or be square. Yeah, traveling along, boys. Thanks. What? I don't know what the, the hell that means. Just, he's just enjoying life. Traveling along, man. Oh, good. You come from a land down under. You start. You keep talking, talking slow like that. I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to go get you a big old glass of water. I got. We have one more beer to have. Uh, okay. Okay. That's it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh God. Why didn't we pack anything? <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy who's been trying to throw up for like an hour now. I should have just went and thrown up. Cause Four, 40, for, uh, we've been live for 46 minutes. <sighs> You've been trying to throw up for 45. That pickle was so bad. That pickle, that pickle, whatever, was so bad. I can't wait. You know, uh, we have a lot of fun when we go out to pastime. We, uh, we, we, it's always a blast, right? Yeah. Sitting here, we got our little, we got a well, little, uh, this El- cups on. redeemed a rapid Dave hates. <laughs> Do you want to hear it? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, I always want to hear it. I told you it was like I hate parts on nerd, and I can't with the wheels shot off. I don't want to do it. Do it. Uh, Rapid Dave hates. Rapid no, he Dave did. Hates. He did. A Alan loves. Spin Rapid those Dave. points to find out what Rapid Dave hates. He says, uh, "Take a drink." There you go. Oh, that, that's 
Oh, yeah. under the at Rapidave Hates. All right. Uh, so on. Rapidave Hates. What do you think? And this week's dad joke is brought to you by dad JB joke. Cards. Oh. Check them out. Alan loves. Nope. Rapid Dave hates. Rapid Dave hates. You can spend Perfect. those points to see what Rapid Dave freaking hates. Uh, on this beautiful day in North Texas, February 22nd, 2023. Of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I really hate it when Alan beats around the bush. When he uh, sidesteps stutters and and starts kind of like never just stuttered. just kind of jumping out of the way like eh, 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 beating around the bush on certain things so that's what was that more noise is that fine yeah no we're good. okay okay yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. so that that's what I, that, that's what i hate today on this beautiful beautiful north texas day when right. he does that stuff you ready alan loves all right there you go. alan loves alan loves it's probably stupid but who cares it's time for alan loves there you go and today, Alan loves. We're 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 coming up on that time of the year where we have every sport, right? Uh, we've got college basketball going on, like just before March Madness. Technically, right? the equinox is later in the year, but, uh, yeah, but it, it's, it's but, real busy, but real it's, busy. But this is like the lead into it, and, and it's so we have college basketball right in its prime. Mm-hmm. We have the the NBA just after the All Star break. Mm-hmm. Hockey just after the All Star game, mm-hmm. uh, pitchers and catchers are reporting. They're reporting. We're we're, we're we're spring training right there. Oh, it's right there, isn't it? And NFL is coming up on like a, a ton of teams made cuts today. Like you're making your first round of cuts. We got more cuts coming up soon. We've got free agency starting. Players are visiting teams. All that. XFL. XFL. Yeah. Uh, we gotta talk about we'll probably USFL talk about that coming up too late night, but yeah, sports is happening, mm-hmm. and it's like with like some sports, it's off season type stuff, but it's it's really good. Like Don't worry about it. We're, we're right there in the middle of it, mm-hmm. the thick of it. I love this time of the year. Like I love right after the NFL starts or NFL ends. Uh, a lot of cuts were made today that. The Titans cut Taylor Juan, offensive lineman, or Pro Bowl, yeah, three time, huge, three time big Pro Bowl offensive lineman. Yeah, uh, Robert Woods, and then Robert Woods commented with, right after he was cut, commented with free. Yeah, no, I don't think. He's um, <laughs> yeah, he was just like he got traded to the Titans. He, you he made like the you best were, of it. Yeah, you right? acted like you're being confined. You're hurt every year but, for like eight but, games. So, but you know, but he was just like, oh, I went from Jared Goff. To Matt Stafford, Matt Stafford won the Super Bowl the fr- the last year that he was there, mm-hmm. uh, and then he went to Titans. Tannehill, yeah, and whoever that other quarterback is. And another defense here, uh, yeah, the other quarterback. I don't, I don't even know who he is. But, but either way, you're happy about he, this. Time he, of yeah, year. right, right. He's just like, hey, I got cut. I'm excited, but yeah. no, I'm super excited about this time of the year because spring free agencies kicking up NFL. Mm-hmm. This is a great time of the year. I agree with that. You know, it, it really is like nothing gets you going like for us, right? Listen, we don't follow every single 162 games throughout the baseball season, but when baseball season gets going, start to get a little. I can't wait because yeah, yeah. you do the uh, what is it called? The MLB pass or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. get the MLB pass, and I can't wait because you send me the password. <laughs> I'm all in on that. But I do the Sunday ticket, exactly. right? So, so you do baseball, uh, and I do football. I pay for football. You pay for baseball. And we have hockey. And we, and we the, share. Uh, we have hockey through, through ESPN, uh, ESPN. Yep. Disney Plus, Hulu, all that, yeah. right? We got almost every sport yeah, covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've got it all covered. and it's so great. Dude, it's so freaking awesome. There's nothing better like, than springtime baseball. Like, just know, just knowing that March is, like, next week. Like, today is National Margarita Day. It and, is. And yesterday it was. We, uh, we actually should have been drinking margaritas. I thought about it. Or the uh, margarita lager from Lakewood. I know I no. I I wanted to stop and grab it, but yeah. I just I, it just didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was a uh, carnival Mardi Gras. Everybody that uh, yeah. had that today's Ash Wednesday. If you're uh, you know typically you're so so what what has happened with you? Nothing. Didn't do anything. I asked Lizzie if she wanted to go to to mass to to get her ashes or whatever. She for, didn't want to do it for the last eighty seven years we've known each other. You always go and get the ashes on yeah. Ash Wednesday. Yeah, I go with Lizzie. I take her. Right, right, right. Yeah, just so, so. Yeah, no, didn't. So she didn't her, want to go this it, year. It's her fault then. No, I asked her if she wanted to go. And she said no. I, I go with her. I take her. But no, when I go there, 
Um, it's usually downtown. It's a, there's a very beautiful little um, cathedral that's uh, downtown. It's on Main Street there, right across from our uh, from the giant eyeball, right? I think uh, it's not St. Jude. It's that's like St. Just right outside the office at work. Yeah, you go past Campisi's on the other side, right? And so it's really awesome, and I love the the, the priest there. The guy is amazing. What's his name? Um, Joe. Joe. Yeah, he seriously like he breaks everything down. Does he not want to be a player no more? God, no, it's not Fat Joe. But the guy... Do you know Fat Joe left Atlantic? Like the records? Yeah. No. Yeah, Fat Joe left Atlantic. Fat Joe's dead. Isn't he dead? Fat Joe's not dead. He's not dead? He left Atlantic. Anyways, so I usually go and get him, and the guy breaks everything down to, like, you know, like, to human beings like me and you, right? Not men of the cloth. Like, you know, you, you... Breaks everything down from just how you would understand and, and live your life, right? Like, oh, you want to, yeah. you know, a little bit of the sacrament, you know, this and that. And then, but he's up there getting lit. I mean, this is like, you know, number five, you know, mass for him on a given day. So he, but, you know, you come around, you get communion, and, you, and then he's got to polish off the wine. He, he's already had the blood of the Christ. He's got to polish off the rest. So he's just sitting there slamming. And he always does like a beautiful – the only person, the only place I like going is St. Anne's. Those two places. But St. Anne's kind of high roads your ass a little bit in the Coppell. They're really nice. It's really nice. Don't get me wrong. But I do like uh, – I like Joe downtown. Okay. All right. And he's, he's super fucking <clears throat> So, right so we're shit. drinking – they wrote it on the can. This is Krutzbach. This is a Bach lager. Elephant legs? Yeah, that's what uh, Eric and Jason called them. Okay. There we go. Out there, now brutal. Um, I got it. So, but this is a a Bach lager. Oh, uh, dot coming with that tier one sub. dot in the house. They've been around house? for 16 months. Oof, that guy's always around. He's a big dude. Big dude. 16 months. Big supporter. But this is a Bach lager, which I was super excited about trying. And when I got out there. Did they explain it to you at I, all? I, well, I, I tried to order it on my first. Uh, flight. Uh-huh. I said I want the Kreutzbach, and she goes, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Okay. She goes, "Well, we're out of it right now. That's right. We don't have it." I was like, "God damn it! Okay. This place fucking sucks." Yeah, I told you. And so, place. so I had some other beers there. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And and I had the whole first flight and food and some more food, and uh, I was getting ready to order a second flight, and she goes, "Hey, um, I just lagered some for you. You're good to go." She goes, my boss is getting ready to uh, keg another keg of Kreutzbach. Mm-hmm. Do you want some? Oh. I said, yes. She goes, okay, well, once they keg it and get it set up, I'll, I'll bring you a sample of it. I said, okay. And so at that point, I'm just waiting, right? Like, she's told me she's going to bring me a sample of it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to order another flight until I get the sample. Mm-hmm. And she was like, hey, there, it's, it's getting kegged right now. Do you want me to put it in the flight? Because I already told her I'm ordering another flight. She goes, you want me to put it in your flight right now? I was like, okay. And so, yeah, so I ended up getting this in my next flight. I've never had a Bach lager. And that was a thing. Like, that was the biggest thing that attracted me. I love lagers. I love box. And then you give me a Bach lager. I've never had one before. So... I was super excited about having this and trying it. Billy Joe coming up with the hashtag for Lizzie. Thanks so much, Billy Joe. We appreciate it. I was super excited about having it. And then I had it and I tasted it. And I, I haven't even tasted this one yet, but I'm just going to tell you right now, it's phenomenal. I love it. It's really, really good. Um, and we're actually going to have, I, I don't know if it's just going to be the owner, if we're going to have the owner and the head brewer on, but I talked to the guy, I talked to the owner out there at Cruz Brewing and I slipped him the car and said, Hey, we would love to have you on the show. And then he came and talked to me. They're like, Oh, well, he's actually here right now. Do you, do you want him to come and talk to you? Yeah, I would love to talk to him. And, uh, so he came and talked to me. At this point, I'd already been there for a couple hours. I've probably dropped a couple hundred bucks. You're like, and I'd like to talk to the manager, please. No, I just, I just. Can I talk to the manager? I was talking to my server and I said, hey, is, because you don't know what you're going to get on a, on a Sunday, right? 
who's going to be there, who's not going to be there. And I just said, hey. It's true. I right. said, uh, is owner, head brewer, a tap room manager, or any one of them here? And she goes, well, our, our CEO, and it's a Bach logger. Yeah. And our CEO and our head brewer are both here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I said, well, I host a crappy podcast out of DFW, and <sighs> we would love to have one of them on. And then I slid her to our card. Slid. Slide, slid. And it's the it stepbrother's pitcher. And I went to Ken. Uh, yeah, dude. And and I, slid, I, I gave the card. She goes, hey, let me go let them know. And she goes, and she goes, hey, I, I talked to them. They would love to talk to you. They would love to be on your show. They'll be here in a couple minutes. I said, cool. And so they came, the, the CEO owner came and talked to me. Mm-hmm. He goes, hey, how, how's it going? How was your, dude, I, I said, dude, I love the experience here. Yeah. I was like, I've been here for over two hours now. Yeah. I've dropped a couple hundred bucks. You told him how much money you spent there? So I've dropped a couple hundred bucks. Oh, man. And Big time with them, huh? Uh, Hoping they were going to comp some of that. No, no, no. no I already I get, paid. Can I get some free spins or something? I already paid. Oh, oh, I'm okay. not. I'm not comping anything. Oh. I said, uh, had a great time. I host a crappy podcast out of the Dallas Fort Worth area. Got some freebies in my bag as I'm walking out. How about a couple of these uh, big cans of beer? You got any no, of those? No, no. I said I host a crappy podcast out of DFW, yeah. and we would love to have you on. He goes, Oh shit, I'd love to come on with you guys. And I said, Well, we do Wednesday shows. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can join. He goes, do I have to come out to you guys? Yeah. I go, no. Oh. It's just, I'll, I'll send you a link. It's web-based and things like that. He goes, okay, cool. Yeah, no. Love to come on with you guys. Love love to do it. You know, I said, okay, cool. We're going we're gonna to drink your beers this week on the show. Oh, boy. And I said. The piss bomb? Uh, all, well, everything, we, everything we've had. And I said, we'll drink them tonight, which. The other two have been good. I thought the lake trash was delicious. I had that there. I had the the uh, Kreutzbach, which is a Bach lager, which I've never had a Bach lager before. Never. Um, never. And I love it. And, and I said, yeah, we'll have you on. He's like, it's cool. I was like, and when we have you on, I was like, let me ask with you, I'm going to drive back out to grab some more beers. Mm. So we have some beers with you, right? I'm going to drive back. It's an hour away. It's not that far. No, not at all. Um, and dude, the the spot was all. I mean, go go back to the Monday night show and watch the Monday night show. That's my full review of the of the location. The sheds, huh? No, the, no, no. The sheds, yes, but also the brewery. Oh, I talked a shit ton about the brewery. Okay, that we went and visited on Sunday. And the crazy thing is, like the br- the winery. No, that was no, a winery. No, no, no. That's where I stayed. You stayed at a winery? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That doesn't produce any wine right now because of yeah. a fire. Doesn't sound like a winery five to me. years ago or something. So like this that. place doesn't have sheds out back. I can stay in. No, 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 it does not. Oh, but like, and I didn't realize until like I I put the shirt on today, and they were established a little twenty nineteen. Yeah, I saw so that. they started during the pandemic. Yeah, and yeah. like so we Close. went out there Sunday. We got out there at noon. Huh. Um. I started walk. We started walking up to the building at twelve oh five, and walking up to the building at twelve oh five. We walk past the window, and there's already a guy there getting a beer. So someone beat us to the punch, right? You're, you're always so punctual, so I don't believe this story. I, I walked up at twelve oh five, and someone. Oh, it opens at twelve though, right? Right, right. It opened yeah, at twelve. Yeah, okay, okay. Right? Never mind. Never mind. And so some guy's already grabbing a beer. He's got a beer and he's getting it and drinking it. Yeah. And we go in and. You know, I, I was like, hey, I told Liz to find us a seat. I'm, I got to go use the restroom. Yeah. And uh, you always take dumps at breweries. I don't know what your I, deal is. I didn't is. take a dump. I took a piss. Is that what it? You I always take dumps at breweries. I don't know what I, your deal I, is. I, don't, I can't think we, of. You walked into like 903. You're like, hey, man, how you been? I was like, what's up, man? How are you? He goes, I don't know. I got to go take a shit. I was like, all right. That, see that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. Cause you're, you're like the Rick Sanchez of North Texas. <laughs> I mean, I'll but accept not being cool. Rick Sanchez. Not cool or anything, but just got to take a shit. <laughs> just so you always got to take a shit. Just Rick and Morty, Rick. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I'll be in the Rick Sanchez. But uh, I did not do that. That's not how that went. That is not how that like, went. What's up, man? How you been? Go, I'm good. I got to go take a shit. Like, that, oh, okay. That's a lot. I've right. never walked up to you and said, I got to go take a shit. <laughs> that has never happened. <laughs> but... <laughs> 
<laughs> we went there and we showed up. And the crazy thing was, like, there was – yeah, that's for you. No, that's yours. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I already poured some more. Yeah, get the um, but, like, we showed up. And we're there in the room we were at. The bathroom. There, okay. there were several people that were there that they're just showing up just for the food. Nice. Like, and then we showed up and like we were all about the food. And I ordered I ordered pretzels for the appetizers of pretzels. Oh, nice. And you got two pretzels. Did you get beer cheese? Came with the beer cheese. Nice, nice, real nice. The beer cheese was awesome. Nice. Uh, and so we ordered the pretzels, which came with two pretzels, which were good size. And fried pickles. And the fried pickles was a good side. Yeah. Good size. And so we had ordered that. And, like, it was like, well, I'm going to order some more food. I was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to order some more. Yeah. And she's like, well, I'm going to order this panini sandwich. How much food you did know? y'all order there? Uh, So I ordered pretzels, which came with two. Okay. Fried pickles. Like, how big are pretzels? Uh, Same size as Brutal, but two. Two for, large pretzels. For nine ninety five. Okay. Which is cheaper than you get at Brutal. But... Two big ass pretzels. Okay. And so yeah. what else you get? Uh with the beer cheese and we got the fried pickles. Which, yeah, normal plate, normal food uh, or something. Bigger than you would a chili's like, or something like, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh so we had that and then Liz was like, Well, I'm gonna get a sandwich. Okay. She's like I was like, Okay, what are you getting? I was, she's like, I'm gonna get a panini sandwich, blah, blah blah. I was like, Well, I don't want that. I kinda want the pizza. Okay. And uh she's like, All right, well so she ordered a half panini sandwich. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. With the potato salad. Okay. And she loved the sandwich. Mm-hmm. And the sandwich was like this. Big old sandwich. Like it was, she was like, God, I, I can't imagine what the full size sandwich was. Because yeah. she ordered the half. And the pota- she loved the potato salad. Yeah. And then I got the, the pizza. Mm-hmm. And the pizza was great. They had the garlic butter crust on it. How big are we talking? Like uh, uh, I got a 10 inch. I ordered a 10 inch. About that? Uh, it's, 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 Damn it, right? Yeah, 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 ten inch, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, ten inch, pretty big, you know. Like it was medium size, size pizza, and I didn't eat it all. I brought it home and I finished eating it later that, or actually finished eating it the next day. Lightweight. I know you ate that whole damn thing. You didn't eat the whole damn thing. No, because I ate a pretzel and a half and a bunch of fried pickles. This is the guy that that, that said he could eat uh, how many pretzels? Uh, eight. Eight pretzels, or was it like twelve pretzels? Yeah, that was that wasn't you know, all my fault. And then you didn't do it, and then you know, but we had a nobody pizza. showed up to support. Then we had a so pizza. I was just like, yeah. like if a bunch of people showed up to support, I was like, Alan, Alan. No one ever Alan, said. No one's ever Alan, do that. Over under six and a half pretzels. Under absolutely. Uh, under. Well, I ate four. Yeah. I ate five pretzels that day, and if you told me the over under was six and a half, I would have ate more. Yeah, I would have went with the over. I don't think so, but maybe we'll do that next time. Maybe we'll try one more time. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad you had such a great experience out there. I had a great time out yeah. there. Again, I'm gonna go. We're we're gonna have. I'm gonna text him actually tomorrow. Okay. And find out when he wants to join us on a Wednesday. Okay. And then uh, he'll tell us when. And then before that, I'm gonna go out there and grab some beers to go. And I already told you, I'll hit you up and let you know. Yeah. And me and you will drive out there. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. We're yeah. going to Windstar though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. we're going to have Windstar too because it's like 15 minutes away from there. Yeah. Uh, but we'll we'll do both. But we're going to go out there and grab some beers and things like that. Sure. And, and bring some beers home so mm-hmm. we have some beers with, while we have them on. Um, I, I'm looking forward to it. Good. Good. Sure. Yeah. When I saw it pop up, it it never hit the radar because it doesn't pop up. You have to like. It's well, they've a, only been there since. 2019. But either way, like if you Google like, somewhere, you Google breweries you, in the you area. You weren't driving up to Windstar during the pandemic, though. I've been going there the whole time, yeah. I went there with the mask on. They made yeah, me wear a mask. Yeah. So anyways, uh, there's a couple things coming up here in the upcoming week. We always do beer events that are coming up, crap beer events, local events, things like that. Here is September, or excuse me, Saturday, <laughs> September, Saturday, February 25th, brewery special events. Martin House Brewing is doing the beer run. Uh, Hop and Sting will have the Lumberjack Ball benefiting Gallant Few, featuring live music, food vendors, and $2 off every beer for patrons wearing flannel. Intrinsic is going to have Barrel Fest, which is, oh, God, let me tell you, it's, some tasty featuring 10 new and vintage barrel aged beers, either on tap or in cans, $20 per person. Lakewood's going to have the Lake Wolf round two with Cody's and friends rescue featuring vendor market pup costume contest and more Oak Cliff brewing out of Dallas vendor market with uh 
pesos for I don't know what I think it's supposed to be pesos. I don't know what's pesos for Oak Cliff benefiting the Paso Scholarship. Well, that must be why then for Paso Scholarship twenty twenty three. Then we have the Texas Sale Project out of Dallas release party for Wealth Over Riches, the brewery's newest tart and ju- juicy uh, session ale. Roller Town out in Salina, Girl Scout. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this football season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of statistics, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and an enormous selection of players and stat options are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million football fans who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/get100. And use code GET100. That's code GET100 at prizepicks.com slash get100 for a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumba. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Cookie pop-up with Daisy Girl Scout Troop. I want to make it out the, to the Slinder Brewery. Yeah, the Roll of Town? Yeah. The yeah. Brewery's Mardi Gras Shrimp and Crawfish Boil with Spicy Tails. Texas Falls at 5 p.m. False Idol. They have an art market with the usual art specs coming up at 2 p.m. on Saturday. Panther Island. Uh, Grady When's Spence. the False Idol one? False Idol is Saturday at 2 p.m. This Saturday? Saturday at 2 p.m., yes. Okay, all right. I'll have to make it out there this Saturday. Panther Island's got Spencer uh, Grady Spencer and the work, beer release, and show featuring the release of Grown and Run, uh, let's see, and a rum barrel aged golden style, 40 to $80 per person. You got to go to their website, check it all out, see what you get out of all that. Uh, Tufts Brewery, McKinney, Festival of Darkness 2023, burning down the house featuring live music, food vendors, a mobile cigar humidor, and over 15 dark beers on tap, 40 pp. Go check those out. You know, my new favorite website is Big Beer uh, and D or something like that. What is, it? what is that website? I got to get it. I got to get it because it's phenomenal. This, uh, Yeah. Beer and Big D dot com. Check them out. And then we have Sunday stuff right here. Uh, Division Brewing, Sour Sunday featuring $2 off sour beers. Pegasus Brewing, Backyard Pit Masters, BBQ Class with Brisket U. Uh, Fort Brewery and Pizza out in Fort Worth fundraiser and silent auction benefit MS Run, the US or the US, uh, thirty five dollars. It's all on Sunday. So yeah, well no, well the first one was Saturday, right here. Well, well, what you were just talking about was on Sunday, and then I said Sunday. Yeah, yeah These are the Sunday saying. events. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's what's going on this weekend in the neighborhood for us. Um, I hope to see people out and about. Really, it's going to be beautiful. Um, to be honest with you, I, I love the fact that we are uh, smack dab in the middle of like in a cra- hot bed of and breweries. just and crap craft beer haven. A lot of different breweries and, and a lot of different types of beers. A lot of different types of charities. Uh, it's it's quite nice to be honest with you. It, and the crazy thing is, like, so like this last weekend we were out in Oklahoma and things like that, and we were looking up breweries and things like that. And like for the state of Oklahoma, I think they have sixty five. Crap breweries in Oklahoma. Oh, wow. And over half of those are in Oklahoma City. So I was just like, so half of that is, what, 33, 32 and a half? Mm-hmm. Well, you got 32 and a half breweries in Dallas, Fort Worth. Like, yeah. I mean, like more to, way uh, to more, Norman. way more in, in Texas than Oklahoma, for yeah. sure. 
Well, when we went up to to Norman, we we hit like ten different breweries up and things like that. You know what I mean? Okay. We were everywhere. Yeah, and it was really nice. It really was. Uh, I did I did want to do a quick little shout out. Uh, this is to our our pals over at One Off Customs. This is the the beer crusher. Yep. This is at Alan's house. This is a picture of him. He got it mounted there. Uh, it's phenomenal. To be honest with you, if you're looking for anything that you can get custom made, here you go. It's on the Etsy store, yep. and it is you, right you can there. Get fall- a strikeout beer one. If you it, just ask them you, for a strikeout beer one, if you, you actually can get a strikeout beer one. They do awesome work. I got to get a Bengals one. Uh, there's a there's a couple of them I think about getting as gift as well. And so this thing. Uh, I think it's fun. It's ten off custom. No, it's one off custom. One off custom. It always throws me off with the the, the one, one zero. off custom creations. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Great stuff. Like, I'm actually gonna release a video here the next day or two uh, of me using it again. Um, I, I'm gonna do videos like. How's every the hand grip? It's good. It's good. It's How's good. the crushability? Crushability is high. You want to talk about everything that they can do and whatnot? Listen, listen. Any NFL. Uh, NHL, baseball, MLB, any team you can any think of, and then to, anything then, else in between. But then, like, comic books. like Because exactly. I was talking to you about, like, comic books mm-hmm. with, like, Batman and all of the Rogue Gallery and things like that. Mm-hmm. And, and they're just... Uh, these people produce some high-quality content. Yeah. Like, their they're can, they're, they're can crushers are awesome. Uh, the first time I used it, I was, like, I was grabbing it. I was like, oh, we actually have to pull down on it right you gotta give it a little uh, but it, it's a great cr- can crusher i use it on the regular yeah we don't we don't have a code or anything for them it's a no. small business you 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 go to support you know what i mean that's yeah. it's one of those things but do us a favor and just be like hey if you go and order one from there tell them that we sent you yeah that's that's all we ask you're not going to get anything for it no you're not going to get a discount or anything like that. We just want them to know that we've sent some people over to them because the, I'm just going to be honest. They sent us that, that can crusher that I have. They sent it to us for free. Mm-hmm. They, they gave it to they, Hey, guy, they said, Hey guys, we would love to uh, work with you. We'll send you one, send us what you want on it. And all we did was send them the strikeout beer logo and said, Hey, do what you want to with the rest of the area, right? So the 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 beer the beer glasses, the pint glasses, and things like that behind it and all that was all them. Yeah, they all we sent them was all all we sent them was the logo that you're wearing on your shirt. Yeah, uh, and um, th- they're quite. If you want something custom for your business as well, they can work with you. Yep. Like I said, I had to, I went through like five proofs that they sent me. There, what do you think about this one, this one, and this one? And I was like, you know what. That one looks nice. Yeah. I like your work there. And so there you go. And then I so, love the realistic spout size in the photo. Yeah, no, they've they've done a fun home. And if you do anything, right? If if you're someone who does something with a business or anything like that, or you just want a custom one for whatever it is that you you do, they can do it for you. Uh hit them up and again, just again, you're not gonna get a discount or anything like that, but just tell them that we sent you just so that they know we appreciate what they did for us with giving us the free one. Um, and we want them to know that we've sent them a little bit of business. That's it. And I think, they, I think and if we they send them one person. told us like, hey. I think if we send them one person, I think it would be. We, they haven't told us like, hey, yeah. if you send us this many people, we'll give you. No, none of that. Mm-hmm. We just want to help support another local. They're not even local, but a small business. Mm-hmm. We want to help support another small business, kind of like what we are. Right, mm-hmm. um, and if we can send some people over there to to get the things that that they do, awesome. Yeah, that's absolutely. it. They give us something for free, so we want, would like to send them a little bit of business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Absolutely. What you got? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we got. Uh, uh, what, what do you want to talk about? You want we saving the documentary talk? You want to talk Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods. Okay, so uh, it's Tiger Woods made the cut. Oh yeah, and uh, on I can't I can't remember if it was a Friday or Saturday. Mm-hmm. He's playing. He's I think it was Friday because he played the first two days with two of his best friends. Yeah, he played with uh, McElroy. What's that? McElroy, R- Rory, yep. and Justin Thomas. Yep. And on hole 18, 
He outdrove Justin. He does that quite a bit, though. Uh, he outdrives. Yeah, people. but I mean, he ain't played in in a while, right? So he outdrives Justin, and as they're walking down the fairway to go with their balls and things like that, mm-hmm. he just kind of reaches. He's not making a big old deal out of this, right? The only reason why this popped out was because some internet nerd grabbed a screenshot, took a picture, zoomed in, and all that. But he handed Justin a Tampax tampon. Yeah, yeah. Because he outdrove him. Yeah. Jokes like this are made every day of every second of every minute on a golf course. And he caught some a little bit of flack. Someone but, brought but he up. had to he had to apologize. Tiger had to all reach out and just he had to address the fact that yeah no no I outdrove Justin Thomas on the 18th hole. And uh, because I outdrove him, I handed him a Tampax tampon. And, yeah, I could see how that could offend some people. And I'm sorry. Yeah, no, he just pretty much just said, you know, it was a, something between me and him. And, you know, I'm sorry if it offended anybody. He he yeah. gave it he gave it that route. It wasn't, uh, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. It was, a, it was more of a, you know, it was something between me and him. And, you know. Hustle. Hit it with your purse next time. It's a solid choice of words <laughs> on the golf course. Yeah. No, it's just and that's the thing. Like he didn't make a big ordeal out of it or anything like that. He didn't throw it at him. No, he, didn't he throw he, it off he's his walking head. by him and he, he slips it to him yeah. and Justin grabs it. It's all done on the down low, right? Yeah. Yeah. The only reason why it's grabs because someone grabbed a screenshot at the right time. Yeah. And was able to zoom in. But Justin grabs it and looks at it and goes. He laughed. It's just, it's just you can't uh, a couple fun. guys having fun, right? And like, and the thing is, like, some people have talked about like watching full swing, and they've really gotten uh more respect for Tiger. But like, Tiger is really great friends. He's really, really good friends with Justin Thomas and Rory McIlroy. Mm-hmm. And there's no secret like the the golf tournament he played at this last weekend. That's his tournament. It's Tiger's tournament, yeah. So, the Genesis so, 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 so on the first two days, he's going to play with two of his best friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the first two days aren't based off of scores and things like that. So, yeah. yeah. It's usually random draws, just, things like that. Yeah. And just like Hostel said, ta- uh, he left Justin a hit at, or uh, less, less Justin a note. So, it was one bunker. He goes, hey, this is a, a layup. Or bunk- I can't remember what it was. It was something. But he was like, hey, this is a. A layup bunker, and he left yeah. a note on underneath his ball. Left, left a note, a fairway bunker draw. that said, "Justin, this is your draw hole." Yes. And then Justin hit it in the bunker and found the note. Yeah, and so that's exactly the same thing. And it's like you can't have fun anymore because you're going to offend like the point zero five percent of a, of the world. And I don't know why we're catering to the fucking five uh, the the point fucking five percent of the world. Why can't we just have fun? Listen, look, there's things that are out of line. And there's something we well, we can't just have fun anymore. We can't have joke around. We can't do shit like that. Like, like, like Tyron didn't make a big ordeal out of it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He he had it in his hand. He slid it to Justin. The only reason why someone grabbed a screenshot at the right second. <clears throat> there's a one second window to grab a screenshot of that. I mean, even when he said it, he goes, "Yeah, I know. I didn't mean to offend anybody. I just was there having fun." That was the apology. He really didn't apologize because there's no fucking reason to apologize. Yeah. It was a, you know, no. If I offended anyone, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. You you offended everyone that can't hit it past the fucking ladies' tees. Oh, I'm sorry. The learners' tees, as they call them these days. And like some of when you go play, so you know normally you have the tips. You got the yeah. the blues yeah. or the whites, and then you have the the shit up front, and so the red tees. You know what the red you know or you know what the red tees are, right? <laughs> you know what the red tees are. If well, I don't hit it past them, I have to pull my pants out. And you got to pull your dick out. Shot, right? Let it flop. Did I send yeah, you no, the no, no 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 no? I don't want to pull my dick out. I should pull my pants out. I got I got to send you the I got to send you the thing. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. yeah. like, let that thing flop out. So anyways, hostile dot forward tees. Yeah, exact forward. Ever tees. hear of the dick out po- policy? <sighs> That was one of the things I even like. I, I played the video like at work the other day. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna do it for you just to to, to let you. Let's have some fun. Just marinate a little bit. Hold on. I'm I'm gonna grab marinate it real quick. On that, real quick. God, but all right. You're you're gonna watch this. So I'm gonna keep talking. You're gonna watch that. So there's the problem. 
they changed the the the, the term of the tees from where it was like learners, and now it's it's not it used to be the lady tees. Well, that's where they tee off on the PGA. They don't tip, they don't play off they don't tip off from the tips. So the red, and then there's something that's close to red. They call it learner tees, teen tees. And then 40 yards back are the whites, and then 40 yards or 20 yards back are the tips. Well, yeah. Is that not great or what? I'm not listening to you. I'm listening to this. Is that great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good stuff. Yeah. I'm going to play it, actually. Yeah, we're going to finish this up because we got to play more golf anyways. The, the rule of the spring and summer is play more golf. Play more golf. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Oh, God. All right. Rules of golf. Have a mulligan. It's not the fucking PGA Tour. Speaking of tee shots, if you don't get past the lady's tee, flop that thing out. <laughs> Move to the side. Whoever left it like this is a dickhead. It's talking Trust about a, me, your, your nobody hand, wants to hear your fucking wedding plans when they're teeing off on a drivable par four. Don't do that. it. Let Shut someone up. read a putt without trying to fuck up their Shut concentration. Up oh, Unless you're Don't playing with through. Patrick Reed. Try to be care. nice to your yeah. playing we'll partners. Yeah. Say things like nice shot when they... That's it. All right. So my whole thing is this. And, and I agree with most of this, right? Like, it's... We're there to have fun, right? And this is something I had to work in with my brother as far as, you know, he was, like, trying to keep score and trying to do this and whatnot. I go... I can't play golf with you if you're going to be pissed about every shot that you make or every shot that you fuck up because it's not going to be enjoyable, right? You're going to be bitching. You're going to be throwing a fit about every shot. You're going to you're gonna search for your ball that's not in play ever for 20 minutes. I'm like, dude, gonna, it's going to be like 10 hours we're going to be out here. My whole thing with golf is have fun, enjoy yourself. If you want to take a mulligan, take a mulligan. But if you're trying to hold that scorecard against me at the end and your ass took like 12 mulligans, okay, cool story. How do we play golf, Alan? Uh, we just have fun. Drink beer? Grip it and rip it. Grip. Have some fun, listen to music and all that. Yep. There was a guy. This, this changed my entire go, my golf life. A while back, drink beer and human, and, uh, human flesh. A while back, Alan and I were playing golf with another guy. His name was Alan. And and we ran into another group of people who was in front of us. They were 20 years our elder. They had the music fucking blaring. Smoking sogies. Sitting there smoking cigars, hanging out. They're like, hey, you guys play through. Have fun. They were there for the whole day. They were like, yeah, we're just hanging out. We're just, I mean, they had they had beers and liquor and everything else going on, smoking, drinking, gambling, having fun, right? We're there. I mean, the only thing we weren't doing was the smoking. Yeah. Cause we, we were drinking. We were gambling. We were music, yep. all of that. We just weren't smoking cigars. We don't, we don't blare our music because we don't, you know, it's it's not yeah, our course. We it, don't know. If we're, if we're near you, yeah, we turn it down, yeah. right? Yeah. And so as we're hanging out there, and then, of course, you know, the other guy, his name's Alan, too. He ran in, he goes, I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm going to pull up to my house oh, and get a sandwich. Was, that, that was a great time. So so we showed up at that, that golf course, and, like, the big thing was, like, we would tee off, and, like, our second shot, we would crack open beers. We brought our own beers yeah. to every golf course. And we're like, ah, oh, damn, we're playing with someone else. Wish we would crack open our beers. And and he cracked open his, mm-hmm. his second shot. Oh, yeah. He had beers in his golf bag and he cracked them over like we looked at each other we go fucking game on mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that's when we cracked ours open too and we had a great time and like when we showed up to his at the hole where his house was yeah because his house was off of i think it was like the sixth or seventh hole somewhere, somewhere around there, there. Yeah. and he goes hey guys you got you guys want a sandwich and we're like no man I, we no, had breakfast and stuff we had just yeah, we, we, we were good otherwise i would have said yes uh, just, but we didn't know, like, he's like, you want a sandwich? You're like, no, man, I'm good. He's like, okay. He goes, well, that's my house. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a sandwich. My wife knows to have a sandwich ready for me. He he parked right next to the steps, walked up to his house. Yeah. And he came back out in about 15 minutes or whatever. And, but yeah, who doesn't like a four to 12 hour, uh, hours in the sun, whacking a ball around and drinking beers, uh, at the only place you can legally drink and drive. I, I'm telling you, um, 
you know, I think people take golf too seriously. And I, hey, look, if you're a professional, you're trying to make the tour, you're trying to do this, that, that's, that's different. different. Thing. All right. We're out there trying to enjoy ourselves, have a good time. We're not slow in play down. We never slow we play down. We never slow play down. Never. Um, we keep things moving. If and, you're moving faster than us, we'll stop and we'll let you go in front of us. Yeah. But, but we be don't move fast. slow. But yeah. we don't move slow. Yeah. Like, but we're out there to have a good time, and I think that's something that's very important for, especially for the the, the new people coming up, and also some other uh, older people uh, who are just getting yeah. used to it. It's Hustle. like, hey, look, it takes four hours to play golf. It yeah. takes four hours. Yeah. And if you're if you're like, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. That's not my problem. And if you hit into us, you're gonna have a fucking problem. Yeah. But it's all about having fun. Yeah. Hassel said, uh, I play golf, like drink beer and human fetch. Uh, who doesn't like four to 12 hours of sun, whacking the ball around and drinking beers at the only place you can legally drink and drive. And uh, there is a time to be serious with golf. If you play tournaments, other than that, just work to have fun and improve. Uh, if that's your thing. Good job, Alan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing, you know, that's the thing with golf. But it, for me, Tiger being back, it puts asses in seats. It, it puts eyeballs on TVs. I saw a few changes that it. were out there where it's like a guy sitting in front of his TV. And, like, behind him is, like, a, a chick with, like, fishnet stockings on and her legs spread. Oh, yeah. He's like, hey, sorry, honey. Sunday, Sunday Reds is back on. <laughs> He had his Sunday red on, and, yeah, I mean, he looked good. He did. He did look good. And it was great to watch him. Did he have a chance to win this? Not really. Not really. Rom yeah, was running yeah, away yeah, with it. Yeah, Homo, John Rom is. Homo was down, on him right? as well. Come on down, man. Hustle, I'm going to have to come down to Texas with my uh, Trooper Alls and my clubs drink some beers with you guys. Hey. I'm telling you. You tell us when I'm in, brother. Yeah. We can get you into some good places. We'll have some fun. Or but, some shitty places. Let's play some good places. We'll, 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 let's go. Uh, River Chase is the place to be. Like, we've had a blast at River Chase. Yeah. Nice golf course. You typically get in with some good deals where you get some, some free food and some beers and things like that. Uh, and they don't bother you for drinking the beers you bring in your uh, golf bag. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Tiger being on the course, being on uh, TV Saturday and Sunday, it does nothing but boost golf views. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 100%. Big, big, big thanks to that. I think we're going to have to get into WNBA talk. What else we have for Lee Show? Uh, WNBA Beer Lane. We watch a documentary on uh, Amazon. Mm-hmm. Beer Lane. If you're part of the Patreon, you saw the, the picture about us watching it and things like that. And uh, we're going to talk a little Micah Parsons talk. Well, he's taking shots at my Lions. You, Micah Parsons. Oh. And a little uh, XFL, WNBA. We're going to have some fun. Nice. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Tucker like had a two-year stretch where he won four majors and 14 tournaments. If his uh, if his career was those two years, it would still be a better than most players. Well, of course. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think anybody ever doubts the greatness that is Tiger, right? Like, I remember back when he was young and he was playing. And, and everybody but not was, only was he a great golfer. But he slayed so much ass. There you go. Like, let's just be honest. <laughs> Most of us would kill for the amount of ass that he slayed back in those days. That's just the way it is. Oh, that Waffle House ass? Oh, dude, dude. You would you would kill for that. Eh, eh, eh. Don't walk away like you're not impressed. But you know what, guys? Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to be back here in about 30 minutes or so. Uh, for a little after dark action, have some fun. But thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. As always, I'm Alan. That's Rabbit Dave. We'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to. Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.